How does roll poise work? I think I know, but I was uh, good to double check. Uh, honestly, roll poise is a bit complicated if you, because most people don't really know how poise work. So getting into roll poise gets a bit complicated. It's a, not like a simple mechanic. Um, how it works basically in this game, you have two states of Viper Armor, okay? So your poise, my poise right now, there's no indicator wherever whatsoever. My poise right now is at 100%, okay? I have 100% of whatever my poise is. So currently I have 100% of my poise, which is 1.69, so pretty bad. But uh, for the sake of example, let's put on uh, here. So right now my poise is at 100% and I have 40.16 poise. Uh, if I get hit, let's get hit. There you go. Now my poise is uh, well, let's just kill everything real quick. I don't know what what my poise is right now, but we're just gonna. Okay, there you go. Okay, so right now, let's say I just got hit once. Okay. So right now my poise would be affected by that hit I took. And then what happens afterward is whatever poise damage that hit did, you know, I don't know how much poise damage their hit does, but there is like a um, rule of thumbs for like weapon classes in this game. Like about like all the curved swords do the same poise damage, two handed attack. And in fact, it's the same poise damage as a two handed straight sword. And it's the same poise damage as a two handed katana. And it's the same poise damage as a two-handed spear. You see where I'm going with this? Like, it's not the same poise damage as a two-handed R2, but a lot of weapon classes do the same poise damage. So whatever poise damage you took, you're at, let's say, like, you're at 76%, you know, poise. 76% poise. So that's your poise right now. So maybe you need more poise to be able to tank your next attack with, uh, with your weapon. So how does that affect rolling? Well, every time you roll, you get eye primer frames at the end of your roll. And um, you can get roll caught during a roll, but if you get roll caught during those roll eye primer frames, uh, if you have enough poise, you're going to roll through it. And obviously, if you have armor, that's, that's like some sort of safeguard because you can... Uh, you can double roll through something if you have the poise. So you're always going to be able to double roll through a few stuff until your poise gets lower. So if like say like I took a hit there from that dude, let's say I take another hit. So my poise get lowered again. Maybe I don't have enough poise anymore to uh, to um, to get away from someone hitting me in my roll hyper armor because my poise is too low. And there's ways to reset this poise. First of all, if your poise breaks completely, so you're not at 100%, you're not at 70%, you're not at 50, you get to zero. When you get to zero, your poise goes back to 100%. Another way it gets back to 100%, I think it's to wait 30 seconds. I never really verified that though, but that's one way. And uh, finally, the most reliable way to get your poise to 100% is to do some specific weapon arts not all weapon arts reset your poise but some do for instance this does not reset my poise that's a weapon art all of this is a weapon art this does not reset my poise this resets my poise this does not reset my poise this resets my poise there's no like logic behind that that's just some attacks that reset poise and some attacks that don't so some weapon arts will reset your poise to one to 100%, some won't. So you just have to look that up. And uh, all of this is stuff that you need to know, like if you want to know like all the matchups and everything. And then finally, there are all hyper armor attacks in this game. So this, you know, this, um, let's say what else, another hyper armor attack. No, whatever this no all eye primer attacks in this game reset your poise to 80 percent so if your poise is below 80 percent it's going to go back to 80 percent 
as soon as you do uh, one of like one hyper armor attack no matter which one it is so you can build your build around that 80% mark instead of building it around the 100% uh, poise mark no that's how poise work in general then again when it comes to rolling during a fight if you don't reset your poise to 80% or to 100% your poise is going to get lowered and lowered until you get uh, your poise gets broken and usually you're gonna get stunned when that your, your poise gets broken like that. I mean you will get stunned So that's something to keep in mind That's why like sometimes you see someone who panic rolls through all your attack even though they get hit and then all of a sudden They get roll caught by it. Well, that's because their poise broke at this particular moment Another thing you can do is to do to use attacks that have so much poise damage that no matter how much poise your character has, like even if my character has crazy poise, you know, even if my dude is the tankiest fucker in the building, you know, I have poise for days. I am a tanky boy. Um, my poise is at 53.71, very high, right? That's a lot of poise. Well, even with all that poise, I'm not gonna be able to, to, um, to roll through, like say a great sword. Like the greatsword is gonna stun me, even if I have, if I have enough poise to uh, to roll, uh, or even if I think I have enough poise to roll through it, because the poise damage is too great. You cannot go uh, to the. You would need like I think it's like 55 at 100% poise, something around around that, to be able to roll an hyper armor through a greatsword uh, by panic rolling. Like with the frames that are at the end of your roll, the hyper armor frames at the end of your roll. That's what roll poise is, then that's what it does. Which is why let's get into something a bit more practical here. Which is why there are some good setups that you can use, which are, for instance, a fast weapon and then a slower weapon that has range and most importantly that has good poise damage. People think like uh you just use weapon for the moveset wrong. You don't just use a weapon for its moveset. The poise damage that I do with a rapier is minuscule. Your, your opponent will nearly always be able to uh, roll poise through a rapier unless they're naked. But on the other hand, a halberd does a ton of roll poise. Like someone that has really uh, a lot of armor is going to be able to roll poise only like once out of two rolls. So that's, that's, that's good if they have like uh, top tier armor. And if they don't, well, they're just going to get roll caught every time, or roll poise broken, whatever you want to call it, every time they get hit in the eye primer frames uh, during their roll, right? So don't be confused, though. R rolling is not just eye primer. When you roll, when you roll, you have eye frames followed by eye primer frames. So you're still not going to get hit if you roll during the eye frames, you know? You can dodge any attack. That doesn't change. The thing that changes is if you roll catch someone but somehow they don't get stunned after they finish rolling that's roll poise right there that's what roll poise is that's what we just talked about so we went on roll poise for almost most of this time let's go to another topic but it's it's a bit complicated to uh to show although i would suggest people join the discord you know you can type in exclamation mark discord in chat and then uh, I have a lot of links in my Discord for learning about all, all sorts of stuff, including poise. You know, I have um, videos from other people. Uh, Big Head Logan is one great uh, example that comes to my mind. If you want to YouTube Big Head Logan, Poise Dark Souls 3, you're going to get a really good tutorial on how poise works. It doesn't uh, talk about role poise, though, but... Uh, if you want to know how roll poise works, you first need to understand how poise works. And then, obviously, I have a bunch of other links in the Discord. If you're interested, you can go check that out. Alright. Uh, also, for attacks that reset poise, I have a list of those as well. <clears throat> okay, let's see what the last one looks like. Like the host might be hiding here. No. Nope. 
Nothing here. There she is. Gonna be pretty quick. Animation skipping CBV, my favorites. Taunt him. Wow, the Aldridge actually fucked it up. Get out of there, that's, that's our kill. That's our kill right there, gotta make the last one though. this on this oh my god my you're in chat i'm so sorry dude <laughs> so oh my god feels bad that was uh unwarranted let's put it that way feels bad I'm such a fucking dickhead. <laughs> oh, feels bad. Sorry, Mark. <laughs>